state better you see the leg is getting up when we uh, have some uneven ground when we rotate now the other leg is above and this will give us some realistic movement now let if we go up here you see also here we have this realistic interaction with the uh, environment also when he is moving up you will see that his feet is changing position according to the location now it's better uh, we can also change the rotation of the feet uh, according to the uh, to the uh, according to the surface uh, but we will leave uh, leave it later now you see hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video this video will complete our beginner tutorial for a third person shooter and uh, in this uh, part we will make the foot IK uh, now uh, we will use uh, we will make the foot IK using the control rig so uh, first we need to make our control rig uh, here in the rigs let's uh, go to animations and find control rig and select this control rig blueprint uh, control rig it's like uh, it's like uh, it's a blueprint which is similar to the animation blueprint but uh, it enables you to modify the bones and uh, move them uh, procedurally without uh, needing to make any animations it is very powerful and you can do anything you want with it but sometimes it gets difficult because there is no uh, enough documentations in Unreal Engine uh, for the controller but uh, you uh, uh, most of the time it is used for uh, making the hand IK and also making the foot IK now let's start by uh, naming our controller rig my control rig now let's open our control rig and here uh, we need to assign a skeleton here you click on uh, rig hierarchy and import hierarchy and here we find our uh, skeletal mesh which is the uh, modern warfare style one mail press ok now uh, to make the uh, foot ik uh, logic first you need the location the desired location for the uh, foot and then we change the foot uh, location according to the input from the uh, from the line trace that we will run from the legs uh, to move the leg the foot uh, I will explain it when through the video I will try to make it simple uh, here uh, first we need a variable which is a boolean should name it should do ik should do ik uh, this boolean will make it uh, an instance editable so that we can change it in our animation blueprint 
and uh, we'll use branch uh, this uh, boolean will use it when uh, we want the ik logic to run and, uh, and sometimes we do not need the logic to run uh, basically when the character is in the air is jumping or falling so uh, when the character is falling we do not need to make the IK because it will make, give us some weird uh, animation so when the uh, character is not falling or uh, I mean it's falling and it's not on the ground we will not run the IK now here uh, from the true we need a sequence because I will do it in uh, in three steps the first step is to get the desired location that we want the uh, foot to follow first of all we need a function because uh, we do not we need the trace from the both uh, feet and we do not to we do not want to repeat the logic again so we make a function and you can we can use this function for both feet let's call it get uh, foot location here in the entry we need uh, an input let's call it foot bone Here uh, we look for uh, uh, control rig element key. We need rig element key. This key represents a, a name and bone type. And for the output, we need a location. Uh, location or uh, we can make it float because we only need the z element of the vector so I'll make it float we call it the z offset let's call it foot z offset now Uh, here from this footbone we need a line trace, a uh, sphere trace Sorry Sphere trace by channel We connect the Z offset to the foot and here we get the location or transform get transform Now uh, the start of the trace we want it we want it to start slightly above the foot. So we get the location and add here we need to add on the Z uh, axis and uh, maybe thirty units which is correspond to thirty centimeter. Let me move this out of the way. This will be the start of the sphere trace and for the end of the sphere trace uh, we need to subtract because uh, I want to the, the end of the uh, sphere trace to be lower than the foot by 50 units now we have the start and the end of the trace radius I will leave it the trace channel also I will leave it uh, for visibility now 
this is ready the uh, our function now drag it here here uh, we need bone the type will be bone and name uh, be the foot left and here promote this to a variable sorry let's uh, it's slightly different from the other blueprints so uh, let's make a float let's call it uh, left foot uh, target sorry target z offset set it here we need to store this value to use it later on when we do the i key when we set the location of the bone uh, here we we'll duplicate the uh, left foot offset and change its name to right right foot offset we duplicate this uh, function by using control and D here change it to foot right foot R get the right foot offset and set it here the first uh, part of the IK now is finished now we have uh, a value for the left and the right foot now in the next step just let me move this away next step here we need to uh, uh, interpolate the uh, this value uh, to make it move smoothly to make it not snapping to the location if you do not interpolate the uh, uh, the value the foot will snap to the desired location and will be would look uh, weird and will not work properly so here we need to uh, make also two new variables let's duplicate this leave its name but change the target make it current left foot current z offset and for the right also duplicate this and here let's change it to current also let's get the current uh, right foot z offset and the left current also now for the right foot for the right foot uh, let's get the target get right foot target set of it and interpolate alpha enter what this uh, node uh, does is uh, like i said it's a smoothly transition the uh, value from the current location of the foot to the desired location using the offset and it will make a transition uh, smoothly and will not snap between the uh, two values uh, make sure to check this interp result and make it true and these values uh, let's make it 15 you can uh, test these values and change uh, change them to your desired values but for me 15 work fine 
also here let's uh, duplicate this interpolate and put it here for the left foot and get left foot target set offset and put it here in the value now uh, we also need uh, offset for the pelvis because sometimes uh, to make the pelvis also tilt with the uh, when the IK or when when one of the feet is below the other it's like the real, real life when you are, when you stand in on an uneven surface your feet uh, one of them is slightly above the other and also the pelvis sometimes also tilt with the feet so let, uh, let's also duplicate this and call it pelvis z offset and how we calculate this we find out which one which one of the uh, feet is the lowest is lower than the other and we get the lowest value and uh, set it as the uh, pelvis offset so for the current let's get left current and right current uh, z offset and check which one is less than the other and f so if the left current z offset is lower or less than the right so in this row we put the left let's get the left current duplicate this here left current and for the false put the other and get the z offset here and add and save the value and uh, now now we have the z offset the desired z offset and here we uh, try uh, we made the transition smoothly from the current location to the desired location and here in the third step we need to uh, modify modify transform but here uh, well, the point that we will modify the transform is not the foot right here because if we change the transform of the foot the uh, leg will snap will snap to places to, to wrong places and also it will look uh, bad here uh, we change the offset or the location of the uh, ik foot ik foot ik foot and also here for the left and for the right for the right here for the left foot ik so uh, here uh, how to set the uh, location for the right ik foot is by getting the current location well look for the foot foot right get bone we connect the rotation we do not need it because it will be the same and for the translation we will also connect the x and the z with, uh, i mean the y we only need the z add here let's get uh, for the right foot current right foot z offset put it here and don't forget to change the mode to override global here the same thing we will do but uh, for the let's duplicate this
but here change it for foot left and don't forget to change this to left foot current z offset and we connect the nodes we connect the rotation x y and here the z also don't forget to change this to override global also here for the pelvis we need to change the offset but here we will uh, change it to additive global so uh, the z offset will, will uh, be added to the current offset of the bone of the pelvis bone here let's add another pin and this is for the last part we look for full full body IK here this is the solver that will uh, make the, uh, the, the calculate the IK for uh, our character so the root will be the pelvis and we add two effectors the first one is the foot left and the other one is the foot right and we find the IK the foot IK sorry IK left get bone and the IK right here we connect the left to the left and the right foot IK make sure you get the IK foot not the foot and keep it global uh, and here uh, this pull chain change it to zero also here change it to zero and expand this settings and change this one to pin to input now let's go and implement our control rig here in our uh, animation blueprint control rig here uh, let's find our our rig control rig my control rig also here uh, check this uh, boolean to make it appear here and to like I said we want to calculate the IK only where the character is on the ground so we get falling and not boolean we want the, the re reverse of this uh, falling when he is falling we shouldn't do IK when he is not falling we are doing IK and here the uh, the position of uh, of these nodes is important uh, here anything you wanted to play no not to play last you wanted to uh, 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 not know how to explain it but uh, if you have if you uh, if you have procedural animation or or, or you want, you have some animation you wanted to play uh, above the other animations you put it last here before the output pause uh, any animation or nodes here at the end these will uh, play on top of the other animations so if you have any procedural animation put it here procedural animation or aim offset we will uh, discuss this later uh, in our tutorial now let's test our IK let me put some uh, objects here on the ground to test the IK Okay, now let's move and see.
you see let me uh, make it full screen now to make it full screen and the short uh, cut for playing the game is alt and p now let, let's see it better you see the leg is getting up when we uh, have some uneven ground when we rotate now the other leg is above and this will give us some realistic movement Now let if we go up here, you see also here we have this realistic interaction with the uh, environment. Also, when he is moving up, you will see that his feet is changing position according to the location. Now it's better. Uh, We can also change the rotation of the feet uh, according to the uh, to the uh, according to the surface. Uh, but we will leave uh, leave it later. Now you see. I think uh, we see these weird animations because uh, we do not have uh, a lot of animations in our uh, blank space so maybe later on uh, we can add more animations from Mixamo we can find it and we can retarget it to our uh, blend space or our uh, character. I think this is enough. We made the uh, foot IK uh, and let me recap and to make it easy to understand. What we did is first we got a uh, we got the uh, a, a, a sphere trace from the feet to find the Z offset uh, that we can use and here we interpolated the target uh, offset to uh, another, va another variable to make the smooth transition between the two values also here we calculated the Z offset for the pelvis based on the lowest uh, foot also here we change the or modify the transformation of the ik foot ik bones and the pelvis also <coughs> don't forget the foot ik modify transform should be override global and the pelvis should be add add additive also here we made the full body ik to uh, control uh, the uh, foot we use the transform of the IK feet, IK foot left and right, and used it here in the uh, full body IK solver. The first effector foot one, we use the IK foot left, I mean left not one, and for the right foot, we use the right IK foot. Also, here don't uh, forget to expand the settings and change the root behavior to pin to input i think this is enough for today uh, like and subscribe if you like the content and thank you for watching goodbye